Here's your neighborhood council moment, a chance to find out about events, activities, and what's happening in your area. Welcome and thank you for joining us today for the Central Neighborhood Council's Neighborhood Moment. I'm Ana Idierena, a professor at the University of Washington here in Tacoma, and I will be your host. With me today are Charles Mann, Chair of the Central Neighborhood Council, and Doug Schaefer, also with the Central Neighborhood Council. Thank you for being here with us today. Morning, Thank enjoying you. it. So by the end of today's segment, we will have shared with you information about the charter that formed the neighborhood councils here in Tacoma, past and ongoing neighborhood improvements. We will take you on a brief tour of the Central Neighborhood Council. We will provide you with examples of the activities neighborhood councils undertake and the ways in which they make a difference in our communities. And finally, we will leave you with some useful resources and ways in which you can engage with and get involved with your neighborhood council. So to get started, um, could you please tell us a brief history of neighborhood councils, Doug, and how they were established here in the city of Tacoma? Uh, thank you, sure. Back as far back as, as the 1980s, there was a, a group that was formed uh, called United Neighborhoods of Tacoma that was various booster clubs and community clubs throughout the city, but it wasn't, uh, it did not encompass apparently the entire city. So in 1992, the city uh, uh, council uh, established a neighborhood council program, divided the city into eight districts or, and facilitated the creation of an independent, nonprofit, volunteer-run, citizen-run uh, neighborhood council in, in each, uh, you know, and eight of them that, that cover the whole city. So our function is really to assist the city in getting community feedback. Uh, we're a sounding board and we're a, we're a, a representative uh, of the of our fellow neighborhoods uh, residents, but we're just all volunteers, you know. Right. Twenty five years. Twenty five years. In Twenty five years that we've been been functioning. Uh, yeah, we're celebrating twenty five years this fall. That's great. Congratulations. So could you share with us, uh, Doug, a little bit about how neighborhood councils shape our community? Well, as I say, we provide feedback to the city on almost any proposal that affects us as, as residents. Um, and then we affirmatively will uh, raise concerns with the city if there's uh, matters that need uh, attention, whether it's a code issue or a law enforcement issue or uh, various things. So, you know, we are really the, the representatives of our, our neighbors. Yep. I, I know you mentioned earlier a little bit about what happens in uh, what you do. Can you tell us more about what happens during the monthly forum meetings? Well, we meet the first uh, Thursday of the month uh, at uh, Tacoma Nature Center, commonly called Snake Lake, and uh, we have uh, presentation. Well, first we have updates by a city manager's representative, uh, updates by police representative, a fire representative, uh, Tacoma schools, uh, metropolitan parks. Just let us know what's going on within their their uh, area. Uh, we have presentations. Uh, almost any topic that is uh, that you read about in the paper that is of relevance to residents will try to schedule a speaker to give a, a 15, 20, 30 minute presentation filling us in, whether it's a charter school matter or a, or a, a rate increase uh, matter or plastic bag ordinance, uh, any number of things. So it's a very informative and then we invite the residents who attend to bring any concerns they have and we'll try to assist them in, in getting their their concerns addressed. What a great way to contribute to our society. Thank you. Now, Charles, for all our viewers that may not have known about neighborhood councils and who may now be wondering uh, which neighborhood council they live in, can you share with our viewers uh, the boundaries of the Central Neighborhood Council, please? Yeah, thank you. Um, we're generally uh, south of 6th Avenue, east of Orchard Street, uh, north of Center Street or Highway 16, and then our eastern border has a little key, so from 6th Avenue to South 19th Street, where just on L Street, which is west of MLK, and from St. Joseph or South 19th down to Center Street, the South Tacoma Avenue becomes our border. 
Well, so that's right in the heart of the city we of Tacoma. We are the heart of Tacoma. Yes, we are, indeed. Now, I know the Central Neighborhood Council Board has an ambitious agenda for this year. Charles, could you please tell us a little bit more about what the objectives for 2017 are? Um, I think, well, thank you for asking. I, I think we, a lot of the things we do is just uh, monitor land development. Uh, we're very, uh, we, we teach people how to use the resources, the technologies available. The city's website is fascinating, but not everybody knows how to explore its resources. Metro Parks has calendars of events. So we're trying to help people uh, uh, be self-reliant and being able to re use those resources. Um, we have community cleanups. We have, um, well, we initiated the, the Scott Pearson Trail cleanup. That's something new for us this year. Yeah. And this fall we're planning a, a tree planting uh, function so that we're going to uh, hopefully plant a thousand trees in the in various areas throughout the throughout the city we're really really excited well in the interest of time I'd like to ask um, Charles to please formally invite our viewers to attend the neighborhood forums as well as become members of the board so I think our I think our ultimate goal is achieving transparency from the city also getting people to communicate with each other so if people want to participate with us, we, we use the Facebook page. Uh, the URL is probably being broadcast or available here. The, um, also, uh, we have a website which has most of all our, our information and, uh, and records and agendas for our meetings. Um, we've gotten to the point that this year we're using technology. Again, we, we meet the first Thursday of, the, of, the, of the each month, 7 o'clock at Snake Lake at the Tacoma Nature Center. Um, you can also participate virtually. Um, the URL should be right here. Um, you can, uh, someone can participate that way. Uh, so you don't even have to, uh, you can, from the comfort of your home or your car or wherever you have a device, you can actually uh, participate in our meetings. And, and anyone can join our board. We're very receptive. If you're willing to, to join us and, and uh, give us a little bit of your time, we'd love to have you on our board as well. That's great. Thank you, Charles and Doug, for joining us today uh, for the Central Neighborhood Council's Neighborhood Moments. I'm Anai Direna, I was your host, and I look forward to seeing all of you at some upcoming community events. It'll be great. For more information on what's going on in your neighborhood, log on to the city's website, cityoftacoma.org slash neighborhood councils.